Welcome back to the channel guys. Today while trying to play Last of Us 2 on my PS4, I realized that it sounded like a jet engine taking off. So today I'm going to tear my PlayStation 4 original down to clean it out and reapply thermal paste and I'm going to show you how to do it in about 10 minutes. As you can see my PlayStation 4 is very dusty, I've uh, never cleaned it and so I'm very excited to breathe some new life into it. So first things first, you're going to remove the shield guarding the hard drive. You'll then remove the Phillips screw retaining the hard drive and slide the hard drive bracket out. Next, you'll flip the PlayStation over. Note that there are two warranty stickers on the back of the PlayStation and you will have to damage them to continue with this operation. So bear in mind, in doing this, you will be voiding your warranty. But you'll find two warranty stickers with two screws below them. Uh, these are 7.2 millimeter Torx security screws. And on either side of the back of the PlayStation, you'll find two plastic covers hiding two more security screws. With those screws removed, carefully pry up from the back of the PlayStation 4 towards the front to lift away the plastic chassis. And taking my first look here, I can see just how dirty my PlayStation 4 is. And not only that, I realized that at some point there was liquid spilled in my PlayStation. And to my surprise, it never quit working. It's been working like a champ. You can see here on this grounding plate that the moisture actually bega began corroding uh, at the metal here, but luckily it's still functional. So starting with the optical drive here, we'll remove three 9.7 millimeter Torx screws and one 6.2 millimeter Phillips screw. Next, moving to the power supply, we'll remove three 9.7 millimeter Torx security screws, as well as two 41 millimeter Phillips screws with grounding brackets attached. Note that there is a cable connecting the power supply to the main board and you want to unplug this by pulling away from the socket. Once that's done, we can lift straight up on the power supply. Be very careful not to touch any of the components inside the power supply as there could be residual current inside the caps. Next, we'll unplug the data cable connecting the optical drive to the main board. We'll also unroute the wireless antenna, being very careful not to break away any of the plastic or metal retainers securing it. And once we've unrouted it, we'll go ahead and unplug it from the main board. Next, we'll unplug the optical drive's power from the main board and unroute the cable from its securing mechanisms. Now we can pull up on the optical drive, noting that it is being retained by plastic snaps towards the front of the PlayStation. So we'll want to lift from the back and carefully separate it. Now we'll flip the PlayStation over 
and we'll remove two 9.7 millimeter Torx screws securing the upper case. With those removed, we can lift up on the plastic chassis, lifting from the front of the chassis and pushing towards the back to relieve it. We'll unplug the fan header by lifting straight up away from the board to disconnect this connector. Next, we'll remove 12 9.7 millimeter Torx screws securing the upper EMI shield. Now, we'll remove the retaining bracket securing the heatsink to the processor. Now we can remove the EMI shield lifting from the front of the PlayStation and pulling away from the back. And again, we'll do the same thing with the motherboard, lifting from the front and pulling away from the back of the assembly. With the motherboard pulled out, we'll now get our first look at the thermal paste and we can see that it is extremely dried out. It's caked up and it's not doing a very good job of dissipating heat. So we'll use a cloth with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to clean up the processing unit as well as the heat sink in preparation for a new application of thermal paste. Next, we'll apply some compressed air to the motherboard as well as the ports on the motherboard to make sure any residual dust or debris is cleared out. We'll also blow out the fan as well as the fin stack to better help dissipate heat. Finally, we'll apply some fresh thermal paste to the central processing unit. Here I'm using Arctic Silver 5. Now, putting the PlayStation 4 back together is effectively doing everything you just saw, but in reverse. We'll start with the motherboard and the EMI shield. We'll then install the two Phillips screws retaining the bracket for the heatsink. And we're going to switch back and forth between screws to ensure we are evenly distributing pressure across the CPU. Next, we'll reconnect the fan header to the motherboard by pushing straight down. We'll reinstall the plastic chassis to the top of the PlayStation. We'll reinstall the optical drive Noting that there is a grounding leg on one side of the optical drive that must go on the outside of the plastic retaining barrier. Next, we'll reroute the power cable for the optical drive and plug that back in, as well as data. Now, we reconnect our wireless antenna Before reinstalling the PSU, I'm going to blow this out as well. The PSU can be reinstalled by forcing it straight down onto the motherboard and reconnecting its cable. Okay. 
Next, we'll reinstall the two 41 mm Phillips screws with grounding brackets to the power supply. Next, we'll screw the wireless antenna back in with a 9.7 mm Torx screw. We'll also secure the power supply with its three 9.7 mm Torx screws. And we'll do the same for the optical drive. Now we can reinstall the bottom plastic chassis starting at the front and then closing at the back. Here we can reinstall our four 7.2 millimeter Torx security screws on the back of the PlayStation 4. Now we'll reinstall the hard drive and resecure it with its one Phillips screw. And finally, we can place the last securing piece of plastic chassis over the hard drive and give it a test. The results were stellar. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. Here's the audio before cleaning out the PlayStation 4 and reapplying thermal paste. And here is the audio after. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.